We are busy unpacking our bags, so I thought I would do a little haul um, of some things I got. So, first up are these beautiful pillows. I got these from Bon Bon Vintage, and they're kind of a lumbar style, a rectangle, and they tie at the top. Up. The linen feels so good and they're down filled um, and they fit really good in the suitcase. They squished down so it was nice. Um, another thing I got from Bon Bon Vintage are these chippy frames. I got two of those um, which again packed really well. I'm really excited to hang those up. And then I think the last thing from Bon Bon Vintage was this wooden frame right here that I really love. I'm starting to um, really build my collection of eclectic frames, and I thought this one would go really well. Um, and then from the time we went to Tarpon Springs, here are the sponges that I got from that shop I shared with you guys. This is called a wool sponge. That is my favorite kind of sponge, but it is also found this little plaque it says poop deck on it um that i thought was really cute for cope's future bathroom um i got this at a small shop in tarpon springs as well um i just thought it was really charming and i like collecting things like this on our vacation um yeah i think it's gonna be really cute so anyways um my next tip is to not discount going to your big box stores while traveling either because like we proved on this trip um their target was way better than ours and had a lot more items that we do not have so first up the thing i got from target is this bath rug i love the vintage chenille vibe of it um and it's a cream color it's not stark white which i love um another thing from the dollar section were these containers um, that i thought were really cute to store things in Kopi's room they come they came in a set of two and then i got this tea towel from target and this recipe book holder and last up is ceramic bunnies i'll give you a little close-up these were part of my friday finds this week look at how cute they are and again i love that they look like they maybe possibly could be a vintage find um, and both of them made it safe i got two of them so really excited excited about these. Um, you guys know my obsession with Peter Rabbit and all things rabbit. So anyways, I'll do a swipe up to these next. But yeah, some of my finds um, from our trip, everything made it safe and sound and it packed really easy. So um, another tip is just to find things that will fit in your suitcases, like sponges that fold down, rugs you can fold up, pillows that squish down, these kind of things you can put in between your shirts. Um, so just look for things that are easily portable and you can buy things on your trip. Okay, so usually we're the type of people to have the house all cleaned and good for when we come home, but um, this time our house looked a little something like this while we were gone, um, which was really hard to come home to, um, but it's because we're getting a lot of work done here. So anyways, um, I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough about what we need to do today and what's going on. So we are getting beams put in this room this week. So we took all the trim down. We beadboarded this whole wall and this wall. This had shiplap on it, but then it had remnants of the old beadboard over here. So it was just a lot. We wanted to make it one wall finish. So we beadboarded it. Um, the beams are going to add a lot to this room. So they're going to be wooden. So it's going to add a lot of like texture and warmth to this space. And this is the library. So as you can see, this is all unpainted beadboard and our mess. But what's really nice about this house is when we do things, we can just shove it all up front into this space. So it just kind of all got shoved up here, which is fine. Um, but I'm really excited to get back in here this week and paint, but today, um, while baby sleeps, we are going to get this all picked up and prepped and ready for the week, so um, that's what I'm doing right now, and I will take you guys along with us, but um, yeah, it kind of sucked not coming home to a clean house, but after this week's events with everyone else um, in the nation, I'm just very thankful to come home to a house um, that is heated and working properly, especially with all the snow we got while we were gone. We, our house is like buried in snow. So I'm just really thankful today and um, excited to show you guys the process this week. So let's Jose, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you to be doing this to the house today? I mean, it's either here or a pool in Sarasota. I definitely <laughs> choose here. 
same. <laughs> Um, the rooms are coming together. It may not look like it. It kind of looks like we just made a more of a mess, but this is kind of what we've come up with for this interim period while we're working on the um, library area. So we're going to have that little table in there so we can all work around it, paint around it, and then the sofa and everything is in here. I did want to show you guys the beams. Um, I'll give you more info later on these, but these are the beams we'll be using. They are a faux um, composite material that look like wood. This is not the texture we're using, but this is how we were testing out stains on them. So I will explain this more this week, but I did want to show you. I kind of wanted to show you guys the general stain color we were going for. It's just, just practice and then how they're going to look in the room. I'm so excited. I hope it works out. Otherwise, they're going to be white. But let me take you in the back living room um, and show you we have these back there. So let me go show you the same beam that is actually in this back living room. Um, we have not blogged these yet, but I promise we're getting to it. Um, but we just painted these ones white. These are this texture right here. For the ones in, that are going in the library, those are um, more of a hand-hewn look. So they are going to be more rough looking um where these have texture but not as much that will be in the library so i hope i explained that well um i will blog them soon but they give a really interesting detail to a space so we're kind of obsessed with them so more this week this is my weekly reminder that jose and cope and i are living in a house that we're renovating so things are changing often. We are making updates as we find the time and the money to do them. So th things are going to change a lot. We get a lot of comments about like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're changing that again. Totally understand that. But um, two things is we, like I said, we're living in a renovation. So as we get done with a room and we're working on another room, then things have to move into this room and serve another purpose so the final purpose of a room is never there until we're done with the renovation so if you're here expect changes often um, and another thing is is um, this is my job and so sharing inspiration and doing all that with you guys is my job so I am forever coming up with new ideas that I want to share with you guys so I use my house as my palette so this is my art our house is basically my palette and how I share the ideas that are in my brain with you guys. So we're changing things a lot. One, because we live in a fixer upper. So let's say now we're redoing this room that had the sofa in it. Well, we need the sofa to go somewhere else. So the sofa's in here. Now this is our living room area. And so it just, and so on and so forth, it just changes all the time. And two, because this is my job um, to share ideas and I love doing it. I hope you guys love it. Um, and something that I wanted to be better at this year is sharing the mess and the in-between. Um, so here you go. That's what today's all about, sharing all the mess, um, but it's a beautiful thing. And I'm excited. Um, I don't know. I get excited to change things up. And I hope you guys do too, because it's just more ideas and more ways to arrange a living room and more ways to style things. So I hope with every change, you guys get excited as well. So anyways, back to cleaning. So funny story, not so funny story, um, you see Jose out there, well, um, we just found a leak in our ceiling back here, so we came back here to move that playset right there, um, and we found a big leak on the floor, so as we are praying for everyone in Texas of their leaking roofs, we had no idea that we had a major leaking roof and are probably going to have to redo um, part of the ceiling and the roof and all of that. So anyways, um, wanted to share this too, because this is fixer upper life surprises like this. Um, yeah, you just have to roll with it. So I'm thankful for a very handy husband today and that part of our house is not leaking. So anyways, here we go. I had not, um, looked at my hair all day um but and I'm still in PJs because that's how I decorate um contrary to popular belief <laughs> um but I did want to add something to what I said earlier um because I think it's important but one way to enjoy this app in particular and the internet in general um 
more um, just from personal experience is when someone's changing something or they're doing something to their house to not feel the need that you also need to be doing that to have your home um, be something that you love um, it's more to give inspiration you don't need to copy everyone's home or when they make changes do the exact same thing to your house um, you can but sometimes we don't enjoy this app because we are constantly seeing updates from other people and we feel like we need to do that as well so just take that to heart like when you're seeing people change things you don't need to so 